I'm Jeff Chandler for the events calendar. In some African countries, namely Ghana, Nigeria, and South Africa, there aren't many payment gateway options when it comes to using event tickets with ticket payments. Now, Paystack has made it easy to connect to event tickets with using their third-party integration. Using tickets commerce with Paystack requires a Paystack account. Without it, you can't generate the necessary API keys. And as we take a look on your screen, as you can see, I've already gone to Paystack and I've already created my account here. Once you've created an account, browse to the settings area and click on the API keys and webhooks tab. This up here, and I'll do this, show the API key. And this is where the API keys are generated. For this guide, the API keys are here for testing purposes only. To use event tickets with Paystack, you'll first need to install the Paystack for the events calendar plugin, which we'll have a link to in the video description below. But on your screen, I've already gone to the plugin directory. I've done a search for Paystack for the events calendar. And as you can see, it ended up as the first result. I've already installed and activated the plugin. You'll also want to ensure that you already have the free event tickets plugin installed and activated. So from there, we're going to go to event tickets plugin settings. Then we're going to click on the payments tab. Then we're going to click on the enable tickets commerce toggle. We're going to save the changes. And now you'll notice all of these various payment gateways show up here. And you'll notice the Paystack one. So we're going to click on Connect to Paystack. And you're going to want to go back and check your API keys from your Paystack account. And we're going to copy those and put those in the appropriate fields. Once you add the required API keys, click the Start Transacting with Paystack button. And now you can start accepting online payments, and then you're going to want to click the Enable Paystack toggle. And now Paystack is enabled on your website. Note that by default, the Event Tickets plugin only includes currencies accepted by PayPal and Stripe. So if you want to use another currency that is not included on the default currency list, you will need a custom code snippet to add that new currency. And the currency list can be located under Tickets, Settings, Click on the Payments tab, and you'll see the currency code. And let's say, for instance, you want to add the Ghana currency code to this drop-down list. Well, first, we'll need to visit this knowledge base article, which we'll have a link to in the video description below. And you'll want to copy this code snippet. Then you'll want to make sure that you have the code snippets plugin installed and activated which I've already done on this particular site. As you can see, I've added a snippet entitled it Include Ghana Citus Currency. And this is the code snippet I pasted from the Knowledge Base article. Make sure it's on Run Snippet Everywhere and then click Save Changes and Activate. Then if we go back to Tickets, Settings, well, and there it is. There is the Ghana currency code. Now, from here, you should be able to create tickets and start accepting payments. If you run into any issues while trying to set up event tickets with Paystack, please get in touch with our support team.